So I'm here again with Bruce Hay of Drake Collectibles. He's the worldwide wanderer of Diecast. Travels everywhere. Is that travelling all because a picture out of Australia or something? Yeah, they won't let me back in. <laughs> um, there's, there's pictures at all the airports and all the border security saying, don't let this bloke back. Okay. So unfortunately, I've just got to travel the world until such time as I can come back in on a on an un, unannounced boat somewhere and land on some little beach in the middle of nowhere. So it's a tough life. Yes. Um, living off the land, but somebody's got to do it. <laughs> anyway, it's good to see you. How, how, how have things been over the last year? Yeah, look, uh, uh, we're poking along down there in Australia. We've been producing some bits and pieces. The market slowed a little bit in Australia. The government have whacked interest rates up six or seven times in a row. So... Um, People have got to start to decide whether they want a, you know, a nice new model or to, to feed the family for a night. So yes, but I think that's the same the world over. The uh, I think it is, finances yeah. are difficult. Yeah. yeah. But um, yeah, well, coming at, coming out of COVID, um, that that nasty C word, I was able to get back to the factory late last year for the first time in three years, and uh, we've commenced work on a lot of new model projects and recommenced on some of the other projects. Okay. Um, during that sort of three-year period, um, very hard to produce a complete new product. Um, I'm, I'm a bit more of a cross the, cross the table sort of person. Uh, when, when you talk to these people, speaking English and understanding English are two completely different things. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. and that's just for the English people. Yeah, that's correct. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, look, I've been to your country. You can drive 10 minutes up the road and you can't understand what they're saying. <laughs> but... Uh, so we, we focused on that period of time and just updating and upgrading some of our toolings with new parts and some really nice looking things to make new and different and more accurate models. Yes. But uh, yeah, we're, we're back on target and I'm hoping 2024 will be a, a good year. We've got uh, four or five tooling projects okay. recommenced, restarted and uh, of course now that the factories are back up and functioning and running, especially the one that produces our Max. They, they struggled a fair bit during COVID because it was a... The okay, Kenworth factory people live there. Yep. When there's lockdown, they still get to work. We had to produce some stuff and, and send it to them, as far as printing and things are concerned, but they could still do it. The, the Mac factory, nobody lived there. Right. So we just ground to a halt. So um, we've got our first lot of new superliners been released and, and they're going very well. One of them here, I'll send you one over for a, okay. for a review. Yep, and uh, those much awaited bicentennials are back in Thule, okay. back, in, right. back in production now. So we expect the first shipment of them before mid year. Okay. So, from my uh, perspective, um, it does look like you've been able to ship a fair bit of stuff in the last, I don't know, six months is how it seems to me. Yeah, the way you've some different colours and stuff coming out. So yeah, we, we reviewed and, and as I say, made a few new uh, toolings. Uh, continued with some fleet introduction of some new fleets. We have a lot of new uh, general freight fleets coming. Yes. In in model wise, some that are very popular. Some that people have been asking about for a long time. So now that we've we've gone further into development with trailers to suit them now the rest of those trucks will come so uh, between now and, and the end of the year there's probably uh, at least 10 new transport companies okay. right. and a few additions to some of the others. And you seem to have uh, kind of built a little bit more in the way of like cranes in the company colours of yeah, people we've, you work with? We've, we've expanded there um, memory was sort of the memory transport was the uh, Craig's probably watching this guy Craig uh, he's probably uh, the first one, but now uh, we've got two cranes which will be released in the next couple of days, made for us by our friends at NZG. While I'm here in, in Nuremberg, I've got three more cranes from NZG to talk about. Okay. I'm catching up with Conrad, they did us the memory crawler last year, and uh, there's probably two or three out of there as well. But I have been at WSI and we've got several projects uh, in okay. different sort of developments and things like that. And I also will catch up with Paul from the Moot. Okay, that yeah. sounds interesting. You, when we were here last year, um, I think we did have a bit of a conversation about loads. Yes. That you were looking at getting some loads, new loads developed. Yeah. So, so one year forward, what, uh, what, where are you on those? We've got a couple new, 
bits and pieces which have come out. We've still got a few more that we've uh, trying to get developed. I've got a meeting with the people here um, tomorrow. Okay. Uh, most of those those sort of unique loads are, are sort of handmade by a group of people over here. Yes. They do a great job. New new tooling wise, truck wise, uh, as released at the the uh, Brisbane Truck Show, we have the new Kenworth uh, SAR Legend truck. The, the final sample of that is back on my desk after after review. It's going to tooling. And the, the other one, which was a little bit of a shock to everybody, was the Ophi cattle crate. So once again, I was in China. We reviewed that, and the new sample arrived on my desk a couple of days ago while I'm over here. So it would have been good to show you that. Mm. It's, it's a pretty trick looking look a model and it'll be a great addition to the OFI and the Drake stable of die cast. Okay, that sounds interesting. Yeah, so that, that might make an appearance at the Australian Toy Fair which is in about a week's time. Okay. So, yeah. so you've got something here in front of us? Yeah, look, this is our new uh, late model Mac Superliner. Uh, nice Mac branded box. Yeah, nice box. I'm, I'm very happy with the trucks themselves. They, they've come out well. They've got all the standard Drake functions and features that Everybody likes and loves they like the working suspension, um, the bull bar tilt, cabin up, uh, doors open, the sprung seats. But always looking at pushing the boundaries. We've got a lot of nice little decals in on here on the chassis. You know, warnings, don't overfill, no clearance. But the other thing is we've we've gone and put rivet detail in the chassis area where we can fit it. All oh, right, okay. And that's probably a first for 150 scale diecast. I suppose initial impression it screams what it is it's a it's a great model isn't it so yeah. uh, no mistaking that feels good weight yeah uh, detail it's all there uh, I quite like this one a nice matte black bonnet when you're doing a lot of kilometers down the highway over there with the Sun um, the matte black bonnets is a must um, we did uh, do a couple of a photo shoot of a couple of trucks the other day yep and uh, what they've done, I, I won't give away the, what they are yet, they are Max, but um, what they've done is they've painted the bonnet the same colour, but they've flattened it. So the, the, the colour of the truck, the bonnet's the same colour, but just it's matte on the top, oh, right. in that area there. That's interesting. So, yep. Yeah. <laughs> so this one is here, this is made, these, you're, you're now shipping these? Yeah, these, right? these are, they were released a couple of weeks ago. So i um, looking forward to what we might see later this year from you, anything you want to particularly well, make we, us keep our eyes open for? Yeah, I, I think we've got some, some nice models. We are looking at developing an, another Drake trailer and uh, uh, some, of the, some of the projects we're looking at with WSI is some uh, you know, Australian Volvos. Oh right, okay. Uh, you did some of those uh, a few years back. Yeah, we, we did, yeah. So, um, now we've got a few companies that have some nicer looking trucks, well, those ones are alright, and uh, they'll go good. And some um, big modular trailers, some ballast boxes, so, and some cranes. So I'm, I'm kind of hoping that this will be a big year. The torque liners are in production, that's a similar trailer to the Easy Liner, and the fridge vans are next month. Thanks very much again for your time, Bruce. No, look, I really enjoy catching up on, on, on a serious note. <laughs> yeah. 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 So until next time, I'm Bruce Hay. This is Ian, Ian Webb. <laughs> and have a great day. Happy collecting. <laughs>